Smoking is sometimes associated with a variety of physical ailments, everything from bad posture to deep vein thrombosis. But as our field reporter Goose has discovered, gaming can also have some very important therapeutic benefits. Development of modified video games that are aiding the rehabilitation of stroke and spinal cord injury patients, video game play is getting serious. And the man behind it all is neuroscientist Dr Stuart Smith. Unfortunately, spinal cord units are populated by young men. Uh, young men do dangerous things. They drive too fast, they play dangerous sports and very often they end up fracturing their spine. We saw the Sony PlayStation iToy, which was a new gaming console technology on the market at the time. It involved people moving their hands around to interact with game elements. And pretty quickly we saw that it mapped onto the kinds of movements that people need to do in their rehabilitation. So we bought a, a console and popped it into the rehab gym and found out that rather than drag these young men down to the gym, they were lined up outside the door in their wheelchair just wanting to get in. So that was kind of a light bulb moment for me where I thought, ah, video games are a really good way to engage people in rehabilitation. Uh, I think it's wonderful for guys in a wheelchair to be able to use it in general and obviously complete online. Um, it's something, a bit of a level playing field. I play online with other people, from the raging teenager to the lonely mom. This is my mouse and I move the mouse with the, with the joystick, like this. And with this mouse, if I sip, it goes into a left click. And when I blow, it goes to a right click. And on World of Warcraft, I used to raid with a guild and we're pretty much the third best raiding guild um, circa six months ago. The idea that it's doing a physiotherapy workout at the same time, helping balance, helping strength, helping mm -hmm. hand function, I mean, it's all good. It can't be any better. Like playing this game is really good because you know how when you mention exercise to me, I'm like, oh no. But when you mention the game, like playing the game, I won't even notice that I'm actually doing an exercise. So it's pretty good. It used to be the case we thought that if you've had brain damage, that was it. You've lost brain sort of function for a long time. We now know that if you get people to repeatedly make arm movements, practice physical movements, then they can get some re return of function. Now when I first saw Fruit Ninja, I thought, okay, there's a game that we could use to get people to do lots of this, uh, and it would be fun for them to engage in their rehabilitation. But for some patients, if they can't move their arms very quickly, then they'll never be able to swipe the fruit. So I rang up Chanel Dio, who's the CEO of Half Brick Studios, and I said to Chanel, you know, you've got a great game, but if you could give me access to the one parameter in your game that controls the speed of the fruit, I'd be able to make that fruit much slower so that patients could actually chop the fruit in half. Uh, and he said, oh, that's a fantastic idea. Uh, I'll throw some of my resources at it. And within a couple of weeks, I had a modified version of Fruit Ninja. Oh, <laughs> Meanwhile, some older gamers are getting in on the action too. They get to play video games as part of their everyday physical therapy. It's another way to use games in health, this time to help older people reduce the risk of falls. There's some sweet old time tunes and plenty of toe tapping fun. So you're getting plenty of practice with your stepping yes. with this game, aren't you? Yes. And that's ideal. It's really improving your ability to keep your balance. We know that exercise is a really good way to reduce the risk of falls in older people. And so one of the games that we're using at the moment is a modified version of Dance Dance Revolution. I know you probably think Dance Dance Revolution is for young, fit, crazy people. Um, but we've modified the game sufficiently so that we can slow it down and put in age appropriate music so that older people like to dance with the game. What I find is that I'm, I'm forgetting about my balance and trying to concentrate on all my other movements. People really enjoy playing these games. Uh, whereas before coming down to the gym, it might have been a bit tedious, a bit boring. Now they're actually doing something that's fun and they, they just really enjoy it and they want to do more of it. You're One the, more, come on. You're the Beckham of this game. <laughs> La lucky game. <laughs> the reactions I get when they found out that I'm a quadriplegic is, really, you seem to be good at this. You can't possibly be playing with your mouth. <laughs> Just your mouth. Uh, we've got really good creative game developing community here. Games are going to enable us to really 
radically transform the way that we deliver healthcare services. So for any manufacturers or producers of games out there, keep them coming where they don't necessarily need the use of your legs and uh, we can join them as well.